I'm Rosemary Langford. I live in the Pacific Northwest, where we like our coffee hot and our summers cold. It wasn't always that way. Well, the summers were always cold, but I remember a time before coffee was king, when my parents could buy a cup of joe with a refill for a dime, when every home had a percolator. When people didn't rhapsodize about coffee, they just drank it. I love coffee, I love tea. Thin, tea-colored, and cheap, coffee was a treat anyone could afford. I love the java java and it loves me. Coffee and tea and the java and me. Want to save 500 or 1,000 a year? Sure, you could give up lattes, but better yet, Buy your own espresso machine. I used to buy a double short every morning at the cost of roughly $2.75 a piece, until I realized I could save about $700 a year if I bought my own machine. My sister bought her machine at a yard sale for $7. My husband visits the same drive-thru every morning, from which Janice and Sophie dispense beautiful smiles and excellent coffee. When he pulls up to the window, they're just putting the finishing touches on his single tall no foam. I miss that. The social event of going out for coffee. The bustle of commerce. Smiling, happy people. But I've got my own fun. I keep my espresso machine sleek and clean. My tools in a special basket. The beans are first rate. I have a favorite mug dark brown on the inside, against which the frothy milk is a pleasure to behold. Here's something our grandparents maybe never knew. Coffee is now an aesthetic as well as a culinary pleasure. I think we find comfort in the rituals. The time of day, the sounds and smell of coffee brewing, the barista's smile, the anticipation, and finally the knowledge that for the duration of this cup of coffee, God's in his heaven, and all's right with the world. I love coffee, I love tea. I love the java java, and it loves me. Coffee and tea, and the java and me. Yeah, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup.